What do prairies, savannas, woodlands, and forests have in common? The answer is that they are all included in an ecological classification system that allows Missouri landowners and natural resources managers to identify, map, and describe land with similar physical and biological characteristics. Knowing the characteristics of a specific ecological site can help with land management and natural resource planning. Here in Missouri, there are four major types of communities. Prairies, which are open, very few trees, lots of prairie grasses. And then there was another community called a savanna, which had lots of prairie grasses, but it also had some scattered trees, generally oaks. And then from a savanna, we moved to a, a woodland community, which still has an open understory, um, but a lot more trees in the canopy. And then finally, we would move into a forest type of situation where we have a full canopy, we have a full-blown mid-story, and lots of ground cover with spring ephemerals. Ecological sites are classified considering discrete physical and biotic factors. Physical factors include soils, flooding and drainage, geology, and physiographic features such as summits, backslopes, and floodplains. Biotic factors include the kinds of plants and their type of community. So we're standing in a glade community. This is a very unique ecological site in which the bedrock, in this case limestone, is very close to the surface or on the surface. Therefore we have less soil for trees to grow. So we have fewer trees in general, more open, unique species. The trees you do have are very short in stature because they have nowhere to go with the roots. They're often very twisted as they grow. From studying the characteristics of glades, for example, we know that they typically face south and west. Because of increased sunlight on those areas, glades are dry communities that contain very unique ground flora species. Glades depend on fire to keep them open. Without fire, invasive species like eastern red cedar take over and cover the glades. A fundamental concept of ecological sites is their direct linkage to soil types, specifically the soil map unit components of the National Cooperative Soil Survey. The Missouri Ecological Site Description Project is a team effort with a wide range of technical experts led by the USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service and the Missouri Department of Conservation. Missouri is part of a nationwide effort to describe and map management scale ecological sites. Their efforts are helping guide decisions about cost share programs, land management, and conservation planning. The information can help drive resource planning and management at a variety of levels, from eco-region to landscape, and finally to farm or field level. In short, ecological sites are the answer to lots of questions about resource management. Visit www.mo.nrcs.usda.gov to learn more or to locate the NRCS office near you.